Taurus, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 21st to the 27th. I hope that you're all doing well, my Taurus gang or Taurus team. So I do want to say that I am going to be changing locations from here. Uh, I'll always, this is my like um, my office room, whatever you want to call it. And usually Sandy is with me, of course, but not always. Sometimes she doesn't want to be, uh, you know, in the readings. But um, so I will be using loca different locations because I'm trying to change my schedule and I'm trying to do my readings in the daytime so that at nighttime I have more time for, uh, you know, self-care and self-love for myself. So <laughs> anyways, so uh, tonight I guess you're, you know, I'm, I am going to be doing some readings from here because I haven't done any readings uh, during the weekend. So uh, we're going to do the Celtic cross. I'm going to show you uh, your situation, what's crossing you, uh, which is it could be a challenge as well. I'm going to show you what is hidden from you and the outcome, and then I will clarify the cards. So anywhere that you have Taurus in your chart, this is your reading. Feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you as well, and take what's yours and let the rest go. So let's get started. We're going to shuffle three times. Taurus. What's happening for Taurus at this time? Okay. Just see what's going on. The Eight of Wands. So there's a lot of busy times right now. Things are aligning for you here. Uh, things are starting to get into alignment. You might be very busy. You're hearing messages very clearly here from uh, you know the universe as well and uh, definitely uh, uh, with the eight of wands there's a lot of messages coming in we'll see what is crossing you and your challenge right now is justice okay it's about things coming into balance here for you all right so this is what is uh, crossing you and the challenge uh, let's look at the uh, at the root in the root you have the high priestess okay so it's about uh, yeah, it's about uh, your intuition here. Um, in the recent past till now, there was an offer with the Page of Pentacles. In your um, strength, you got the Queen of Pentacles. You've been uh, nurturing yourself here. There's stability around you as well. Okay, um, you might be busy with work or people calling you or just a lot of busyness I do feel for you. In the near future, you got the Wheel of Fortune. So. Uh, yeah, there's definitely destiny and uh, destined, something destined and faded here. The wheel is turning. It's karma. It's luck. Are you going to seize the moment? Are you going to seize the moment of the wheel of fortune? We're going to see. In the you position, you've got the king of swords. So you're thinking, uh, for some of you, this is you and how you're thinking and how you're seeing things. You're observing everything around you at this time. And um, you see things pretty clear. And you usually attain what you want here, okay? So some, there's something that you want here. You want something to come into balance or into justice for you, okay? And what you're not seeing, uh, in what you're not seeing in, in your environment is the Eight of Cups, okay? Uh, walking away from something to go towards your Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups here. In the Hopes and Fears, you got the Moon card. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. Uh, something is not clear here, okay? There's something, there's... Um, for those of you that uh, are asking for a date or wanting to know something is not clear in the fear there's a lot more fear than hope in this uh, the card so there's some type of fear here or uh something is not what it seems there's illusions and it's a time to uh could be also blocked intuition at this time okay and there's not a clear indication of what it is exactly in the outcome you got the six of wands so there's some type of recognition or reward victory and success here in the overall, you got the five of swords. Hmm. So uh, there is trust issues or in a situation, or it could be someone here that's thinking negative about a situation. Underneath, you got the king of pentacles. There's stability, there's prosperity, okay, in a situation. So I do have the king and queen. Uh, if, uh, you know, because it could be a business partner, it could be anybody here. But there's definitely, uh, you know, prosperity and stability in a situation. In the Five of Swords in the overall just shows that something here is not what it seems. So maybe you might feel negative about a situation, might thinking negative about a situation, or people don't have your back at this time. There could also be sabotage. Whatever the case is, um, you're looking mostly in the past and, and, and in the present moment, okay, as well. So it's about you accessing your intuition on this. So we're going to clarify the cards. And see what else is going on here for you. 
Okay. Let's look at the Five of Swords in the overall. Why is this Five of Swords here? Ace of Cups, King of Swords, Eight of Cups. You're walking, you're definitely walking away at this time in your overall, okay? You're walking away from people or situations that no longer serve you or people that don't have your back, okay? Or you could also be uh, of ideas that are limited in how you're thinking about situations. You're expanding here, but there's definitely people or situations that you're wa walking away from. With the Ace of Cups representing themselves here, okay? You're going towards your Nine and Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups, it could mean anything. It could be forgiveness of the past, Okay, having compassion and forgiveness for whatever took place in your experiences. It's also about new love. It could be celebrations, abundance, and you're very clear with the King of Swords what you want, and you're going for it. Okay, so there's that. It's very strong in that way. Okay, you're open to it. Let's look at the Eight of. Uh, wait a second. What's going on here? Okay, <laughs> let's look. Let's look at the 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 Eight of One. Okay, the card fell. Give me a second. Sorry about that. Okay, you got the Knight of Wands. So there's a lot of action here, people coming in of your, in your life at this time. Okay, um, could be also you in the way that you're uh, in in the way that you want. Like because of the Eight of Wands, there's a lot of like movement. Uh, you could be in that type of energy as well. Okay, so you got the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Wands. The moon card shows up and the king of wands. So you have the moon card that shows up twice. And I think also um, uh, Aries had the same uh, moon card as well, but not in the same place here. But uh, there's something here that is not shown yet. Okay. It's not shown in the situation here. It's about... Uh, at first, I feel that if this is you or someone else that keeps coming in and out of your life or keep, keep, keep keeps coming in and out whenever they feel like it, okay, there could be that person, okay, or uh, you are not being sure, so you're like pulling back every time that there's something that presents themselves. Um, and there's a, with the King of Wands and energy, there's a sense here that it's about seeing a bigger picture in this situation and someone here taking action. There is definitely direct action because with the star card, it's a wish that's going to be granted for you. Okay, it's it's your destiny. It's faith. Uh, your destiny and fate that's taking place. And you know, some of you have been stagnant for a very long time here in a situation, but something is not being shown for what it is with the, uh, with the, the moon card, unless you're dealing with a Pisces. If you're dealing with a Pisces in energy, I do, I do see them coming directly with a lot of passion here, but something is still not clear. You know, even though that someone is taking action, someone's not very clear. Because, uh, again, there's fear, okay? Fear, there's fear in this situation that comes up, all right? So I'm just going to take an extra card for the moon just to see the insight of it. Yeah, it's about maybe a partnership of any kind, shape, way, or form. Okay, definitely. Okay, and it's about opening your heart because there could be an arrival here, but something is still not shown and it's going to bring you the Ten of Cups. Okay, so from, you walked away from the Eight of Cups, from people or situations you want. You went from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, so there is happiness here. There's, there could be an arrival. It's about you opening your heart to this Two of Cups and energy, but at this time, it's not being shown when, how in the situation okay let's look at justice you got the uh, the judgment the sun the four pentacles someone's holding back how they truly feel here and that's what the challenge is Okay, uh, something feels unjust, unfair, okay? Something is probably unbalanced in a situation. Well, I don't know what your situation is, okay? If it's a relationship, a marriage, or a friendship, or partnership in any shape, way, or form. But there's definitely revelations that are taking place, and there will be a judgment to come in here. 
because the sun is shining okay so there's positive vibes around this it's positivity but again someone is holding back okay they're holding back in what they have to truly say here because there is a new beginning let's look at the high priestess in the core in the root the five of swords shows up twice oops the world the queen so i do have the king and queen of uh, wands here if this is you alone this is you embodying the queen of wands okay meaning you're very magnetic you're very outgoing uh, outspoken uh there's a lot of uh, there's it's a, it's a beautiful energy with the queen of wands you're very you put there's a lot of self-confidence in what you are and who you are and yes you are letting go finally okay there's a closure here you're completing a cycle with the five of swords energy you're completing a cycle all right of people taking advantage or maybe you're thinking about some things negatively and you're releasing that uh, or people that don't have your back so you're going to the next level here you're trusting your intuition okay your insights that come through and there's victory and success there could be travel indicated all right as well i don't know what's going on here my deck sorry i don't know no okay hold on a second here we go. you've been manifesting this you man, you're manifesting oops you're manifesting change okay that's what you've been manifesting is change here let's look at this page of pentacles in the recent past till now because i do have the king and queen of pentacles okay two solid powerful couple if not this is you from the queen you went to the king in energy okay so just remember let's look at the page of pentacles here ten of ten of wands eight of wands the three of swords yeah, there was a lot of heartbreak in the situation in the past here Whatever offer was there, if someone came to apologize, there was a lot of difficulty in terms of love, sorrow, grief, heartbreak, a lot of obstacles, and also in the way that you used to communicate with someone here. And that was an ending that took place, okay? And something is being realigned here, okay? Definitely being realigned, especially in the month of August here, okay? And it's about healing, definitely about it. It, it, it took a lot of inner strength to go through this, but it's also about being... Um, being vulnerable all right let's look at this uh, queen of pentacles in the strength the towers coming through the three of pentacles the ten of pentacles yeah there's something long term here uh, you want something long term, whether it's wealth, if whether it's inheritance or money that's coming to you through courts, or it could be uh, some type of legacy, buying a home, an estate. It could be something here that, or, or it could be a, some type of collaboration. But there's a tower card that's coming in here with the Queen of Pentacles. There's something stable here, definitely, and there is definitely something long term. You know, uh, so there's collaboration, teamwork. It could be in a home, it could be in a business, it could be in an environment, it could be in your community right uh it, because it is uh, something that's it's with the star card it's the future so let's look at this tower what's this tower bringing in for you let's look at this tower three of cups it could be reunions a uh, celebration uh, it could be some type of network that you're doing but here there's the four of cups also and the eight of swords with the devil whatever this is whether if this is love or this is uh, any something here that you've been waiting for things to change here there's still patterns in a situation here uh, especially if you're dealing with more than one person there could be pa patterns or someone here has patterns uh, in overthinking thinking negative uh, or there's some type of like not wanting to see something here okay someone's feeling stuck here okay why they're not trusting their intuition that's you know someone's not trusting themselves something in, in this situation here whatever it is but with the devil card sometimes okay uh that's a capricorn it could be some type of message coming in very quickly that could bring in some type of st stability here but there's a lot of like questions being asked uh, being at crossroads here there's some type of gift that's coming in or something tangible but the thing is is that 
Capricorn, not Capricorn, Saturn, the planet here, helps people, especially like if you're making a business here or in terms of money and wealth, right? It makes you go to the next level because this is about material success that's coming in here, right? Uh, that could be that for you with the Ten of Pentacles because you, that's like long term with the Three of Pentacles. There's some there's something long term here. Okay, uh, definitely. There, there is wealth here, okay, or abundance. Uh, I don't know, prosperity, there's success. But at the same time, I could also see here that someone's rejecting this, okay, and someone is uh, overthinking it too much. It's very negative about it probably or feeling that they're stuck, okay, in a situation, whatever it is here, and how maybe you're thinking and what spirit is trying to show you here. There could still be patterns that are attached, patterns that you have to still release here, okay? So let's look at the Wheel of Fortune in the immediate future. So the Wheel of Fortune, something is destined and faded here. Are you going to seize it? Are you going to seize the wheel? Because the wheel keeps changing, okay? It doesn't always, it doesn't, it never stays the same. So we've got the Two of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Hangman. Yeah, something is stagnant here, definitely, with the Two of Swords. Um, there's, there's definitely a decision that has to be made here. Uh, there is some type of messages, possibilities. Uh, there's two paths, crossroads, fork in the road. Whatever path you take, it doesn't matter. It will still lead you to where you need to go. Different experiences, of course. But there's no action at this time, okay, in the near future. Someone, I don't know if someone's going to seize that wheel. Because some, something, someone here is uh, is uh, taking the time to look at the, with the hangman. It's like there's someone that's idle. They're not moving. They have to, they're, 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 they're looking at everything here. Uh, and there's definitely a message to take place. There's definitely a message, sorry. Uh, definitely a, a, a decision to be rendered here because you've been sitting on the fence about this, okay, whatever, whoever this is for you, okay. Let's look at the King of Swords in the U position. So you're, you are right now embodying the King of Swords. Okay, whether you're male or female. Taurus. What's this King of Swords about? The Page of Wands, the Chariot, the Six of Swords. Something is coming in divine timing. You've been seeing the signs here. There's something... There's a new start, something passionate is starting here for you. And you're taking charge and you're moving forward, okay? You're taking your life back. There's traveling. I do see traveling indicated for you by car, by boat, by plane, whatever. you. There's definitely traveling indicating. You're going through a transition at this time. Better times are coming ahead. Restoration and peace. And it's like, it's all in the vibe. There's positive news around a situation, all right, that you're dealing with. And it could be from someone of your past, definitely, because there is a new beginning. Let's look at the Eight of Cups. In your environment, what you're not seeing. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords. Yeah, definitely here there's a lot of reg regret and disappointment, okay, in, in, in situations. There's frustration here. Uh, things that went wrong. I do feel someone here is standing up for this, themselves and someone here is being very defensive, okay? Um, there could be some type of communication that comes in, uh, but uh, it's about perceiving things a different way. It's about seeing things in a different way, okay? So uh, it could be that someone here is walking away. All right, let's see. Give me another card for the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords. Just the one extra card. Justice is coming in. So, uh, because you went to the next level, Taurus, what it means when you when there's a cycle that ends and there's a new beginning that takes place, karmically, your uh, anything that in the past that in your experience with people or situations, uh, it means that uh, their bond, not their bond, but not just their bond, but like their con the contract you had with them is, is severed. So this is about new contracts coming in. Okay, something is coming into balance here for you, definitely. Okay, and fairness will be at play. After a time of conflict and drama. That card, I don't know where the hell they came through. Okay. And uh, seeing things very logically with the Queen of Swords. You are making progress though. That's definitely. So I do have the King and Queen of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Swords, the King. Do I have also? 
the king and queen of wands all i'm missing is the king and queen of uh, cups here okay so let's look at the moon in the hopes and fears there is fear in this situation fear is controlling it fear is an illusion but fear is controlling a, a person or an emotion that someone here um, is dealing with so let's look at the moon the queen of pentacles oops the ten of swords reversed the lovers the emperor there's a new beginning here there's prosperity look at that god the queen of the king of pentacles the ace of wands the emperor <laughs> that's amazing that's a lot of power here um not equal power but just a lot of uh, action prosperity commitment this could be any type of commitment here and there's a new beginning um someone here has been nurturing themselves and trying to heal their shadow self uh, or trying to heal uh, the fears and uh there is there is a strong soul bond here this could be anybody in your life but there is a, a choice and a decision to be made here let's look at the six of wands nine of cups the death card the four ones and there's a beautiful transformation that's taking place here you have many options um try not to get too confused about your options okay or overthink about things okay when you do get in that confusion part where you're confused or you're you're feeling stuck it is all you need to do is take a step back and reflect okay uh, and um, reflect on everything all right, just uh, taking a step back and reflecting on everything will show you something here. There's a wish fulfillment that's coming in for you and some of you could be dealing with Scorpio. If not, this is a death and rebirth that you are going through. There will be victory and uh, success here. Okay, recognition. Uh, there is some type of stability, some type of, uh, in, if it's not stability, it's uh, well, it could be stability, but could be some type of proposal any shape way or form here in the community in the home in a in a business and uh you know i do see new, a new beginning that's taking place there for you well i hope that this reading helped you taurus don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon please take care